So here's a little bit of history, guys. Give it a pause if you want to. There's the funeral of Henry Thomas Land, the mayor of Queanbeyan. And the horse driven hearse for Henry Thomas, Hello guys, uh, so we've come for a trip over here today to um, the Queen Anne Riverside Cemetery. It's just over the border of ACT into New South Wales. So I uh, thought we'd come over here and have a look around the cemetery. I've only been here very briefly once before. So this is an old cemetery. Um, they don't actually bury people here anymore unless you already have, um, you know, you bought a, a burial plot before they uh, stopped allowing people to be buried here. Um, there was a flood here um, back in the 1970s and I think it was about 200 bodies got washed away um, from the riverbank somewhere down here. Uh, and so there is a plaque here somewhere that has those people's names on a plaque. Now they did find some of the bodies um, and some pieces of bodies and they brought them back and reburied them. But there are some bodies that uh, they didn't find and they're still in Lake Burley Griffin somewhere uh, because they just, they couldn't find them. Um, so yeah, we'll have a look around here today and... Um, See what we come up with. So a lot of the graves here are going to be from probably the 1800s or you know early 1900s. You won't see any recent graves unless somebody had already purchased the plot. Uh, before they stopped the burials, as I said before. So, there are some, like this one, they, they don't have headstones. They may have been broken um, from vandalism or they've just worn away with age. So this one here is from 1887, that's when she died. Her name's Margaret Stevens. Rest in peace, Margaret. Nine, died 1900, aged 19, Andrew. Rest in peace, Andrew and Timothy. It is a nice day here to be coming out and walking. As you can see, this one's fallen over. A lot of these graves are quite old. This one here doesn't have any headstones at all. Um, I am going to come back one evening at night time and do a night session if you guys would like me to and I'm going to use the spirit box and see if we can make communication with a few people. So as you can see here, I mean these have been broken but somebody's sort of laid them on the, their resting places and pieced them back together. It's a shame though, it, you know this is, there should be, in my opinion, um, some funding where you know they can go around and replace old headstones and rest in peace RJ nineteen forty nine 
like this one that's actually sunk into the ground quite a fair way this one here is just worn away this one's broken that looks like a baby over there that broken one it's quite small look at them they're all sunken and I want to bring you guys over here I did notice this last time I was here see look at this one it's been broken probably just with age Jane Teresa Cameron who passed away 18th of May 1940 rest in peace Someone's not long put some flowers there too. That was nice. Oh, this is a little bit creepy. You can see there's actually like an opening there. It's too dark to see anything, but... Patrick J. Ryan. Must have been very well loved to have such a nice gravestone there some very old flowers see this one here there's like a um it's almost like an altar on top of the grave it's sunken a little bit Jules Desmet died January 1890 aged 65 years this wow it's beautiful so just walking around I would like to make mention to all the spirits here that we come in peace and we do not mean any harm we are just here looking wow I saw something then um yeah we come in peace we respect you and as always i always walk between the graves never on top of them and you know i'm very respectful okay so here's a little girl florence thomas who died aged 11 months rest in peace florence I think these are little babies, these ones. Yeah, this one wasn't um, wasn't even 12 months. Joanna Mary, infant daughter of John and Joanna O'Connell. See the flower there? It's beautiful. Oh wow, there's a lot over here. McInnes, Keenan, Keenan, McInnes. So this must have been a family here. Wow. Okay. More McInnes over there. Elizabeth and John Byrne passed away 1962 in 1920. Rest in peace. Look at that one there. That must have had like a a big cross or something on it and it's broken off. It's such a shame. So I'm just heading down slowly. This is beautiful, this one here. Absolutely gorgeous. I 
I love these old style graves, the ones with the wrought iron around them. They're beautiful. See, that one got broken too. Uh, so that base must have been on top of there. And then the cross was on top. There's a family there. Oh, there's an infant there as well. Rest in peace. Hello everyone. Um, so I started recording this with my camera and it was working fine and now it's having issues again. Right? So anyway, um, I'm just going to record on my iPhone now and take you guys around and we'll look at the rest of the cemetery or as much as we can see. Um, even though the cemetery is not that big, there is a lot to see here. So take a wander around and we'll see what we can see. Here we go. So I'm probably not going to spend too much time on individual graves. No disrespect to anyone. There is a lot to see here and I am going to come back and um, when I come back, yeah, so when I come back, um, as I said, I'm going to do a spirit box session and things like that as well. So yeah, let's have a look.